This is a really important video for Speak About the Photo. It's about templates. I'm going to give you a template that you can use to answer almost any Speak About the Photo question for the Duolingo English test. Let's start by looking at an example of a student who doesn't have a template. He's going to answer a question for this photo here. Looks like this. 20 seconds to prepare. You can't write down any notes. Okay, so he's just got to speak from what comes into his mind. And because he doesn't have a plan, he doesn't have good structure. His structure is not good for this response. And that's one of the grading criteria for the Duolingo English test. It's the one highlighted in the middle, content and structure. So that's going to be a problem for him. Let's listen to his response. He's got other problems and we'll talk about them, but let's focus first on the template. Here we go. Uh, there is a older instructor. Uh, he is uh, kneeling down and get something to show to the uh, uh, children. There are uh, five children who are wearing the uh, protective glasses and they wearing the long sleeve clothing and trousers. On the background, I guess there is a forest a full of a tree. And there are some parents to uh, also uh, concentrate on looking the instructor, what he did, doing, what he doing. Okay, so that's his response, and this is the, the whole transcript written out, just so you can see it in one response. It's about 60 seconds, so his length was pretty good. Uh, I ran it through my speaking score. Now, this site is designed for TOEFL, uses TOEFL Speech Rater, but we can use it for other things as well, like the Duolingo English test, to get a better idea of your speaking strengths and weaknesses. Now, there are a lot of weaknesses, to be honest, for this student. He scored about an 80 for the Duolingo English test, it's a bit a 16 on TOEFL out of 30. Uh, one, but we want to just focus on one thing at a time. And that's what you should do when you practice as well. Even though you might have a lot of issues, you want to focus on one thing at a time. One of the easiest things to focus on is your structure. Before pronunciation, before vocabulary and grammar, the easiest thing is to learn how to answer these questions for this test. He scored two out of 100 on sustained speech. That's speaking smoothly. He, can, he doesn't speak smoothly. Each word is pronounced with a stop. He keeps stopping, stopping, stopping. Okay, So how can he fix that? Right. That's actually a really hard thing to fix. It takes time. One way to get better at this is to have a structure, to have a template that you can use to answer any of these speak about the photo questions. And let's look at that right now. This is going to help him a lot with knowing what to say next and building his confidence. So the first thing is to describe or make inferences about the foreground. The foreground is the first thing you see. Okay, so that's basically where the guy is here. I'll say the, the guy kneeling down. I'll say the first thing I notice in this image is you can say that for any question, any speak about the photo question, you can use this phrase to start. Start strong, and, and I'll do it here. The first thing I notice in this image is an older man crouching down on the floor, uh, looking at a couple of objects in his hand. I'm not sure what they are exactly, but he's looking at them very intently, so I guess he's trying to explain to the children what these objects are and how they work. Okay, so that's an example, two sentences. Then the next part. Describe or make inferences about the location. So after you explain the first thing you see in the foreground, the kind of front of the picture, then you're going to talk about the location. Uh, it looks like this picture was taken. Say that for any question. It looks like this picture was taken in the forest somewhere. There are a bunch of trees uh, without leaves and the leaves are actually scattered across the floor. So I imagine this is sometime in the fall or winter. Uh, the man has his sleeves rolled up, but everyone else is wearing a hoodie or a jacket. 
So I imagine it's pretty cold. Right? That's the location. I could say another sentence or two, but just to give you an idea here. Okay, so we started with the foreground, talked about the location. Next thing you're going to talk about the past or present or future. Make inferences, make guesses. What do you think is going on? And you can use this phrase for any of the question, question, any of the photos. I'm not entirely certain about this, but I think this is a school trip where some young kids about seven, eight years old are learning about different organisms and species that live in this forest. Uh, I imagine that after this picture was taken, the kids and the entire group would keep walking and move on to another area where they would find a different species, a different artifact, different object to look at and talk about. Okay, so just explaining that. Okay, started with the foreground, talked about the location. Now I'm making guesses about what's going on. Right? And then I can add additional details. You know, if there's time, I'll say, okay, um, on the right, there is a tree and I can't see much from the tree, just that it's kind of green and has some bark on it, like all trees do. Uh, on the left is a man standing up with a Nike hoodie. Uh, it's, it's not really a hoodie, I guess. It's actually more of like a jacket. It's dark blue and he has a pair of sunglasses on. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> in the background, there isn't much to see, just more uh, trees. And in the middle of the picture is another teacher. She's wearing a pink hat and a green sweatshirt with a red necklace around it that looks like it might be holding some keys or a phone. Okay, so additional details, extra information. That's the structure. So you wanna focus on fixing one issue at a time. I know this student you know, had a lot of issues. The easiest thing to start with is a template, knowing the structure of how you should respond to this type of question, speak about the photo. To be honest, this is the biggest issue uh, that I find when I work with students for speak about the photo. They really don't know how to organize their response. This is how you organize it, okay? Foreground, location, inferences, more details, and that's it, all right? So, if you like this type of practice, check out speakerenglish.com. We have study plans designed for the Duolingo English test speaking, read and speak, listen and speak, speak about the photo questions. Every day you answer a question and every day you see a sample response and transcript and additional activities. It's guaranteed to improve your score in 30 days. Check that out, speakerenglish.com. But if you would like more help we speak about the photo we have another video that i'm going to link to somewhere around here with a student's sample response and he makes a couple of mistakes that i want to make sure that you avoid making as well on test day so check that video out and i'll see you there